Hey, Jeff Koga here, and welcome to this video. Now, if you're watching this video, it probably means that you're looking for ways to get more listings. So if you are looking for more ways to get listings for uh, your real estate business, pay attention to this because I'm about to give you a real estate agent tip, or in this case, maybe tips on how to get listing appointments from cold calling. And then I'm going to show you right on my phone here, as you see this on the screen, right? I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you actually do the stuff and do the work, all right? Now, a couple things that I want to talk about first, all right? Number one is just know that when you're on the phone, okay, and, and you know, if you read, read anything about sales psychology, read anything about sales, right? They talk about language, okay? Now, I'm not saying I'm some, some type of expert when it comes to linguistic selling, okay? But one thing I do know is this, and I am keep on getting Texas here for a deal that uh, I'm working on right now, um, but I want to talk about something where and when you're in the sales situation, if you are face-to-face -face like this, okay, then guess what? The actual uh, words that you use is... It, it, it does not have that much of an impact with the actual sellers or buyers, okay? Why is because in language, they're reading your body language, right? So if you like lean forward, right? Cross your arms, are you smiling? Mm, looking ugly, making faces, right? Whatever it is, that's what they're doing, okay? Versus if you are on the actual phone, then that body language component is thrown out the window. So you have to be what? Focused on tone, okay? Tone, articulation, pitch control. What are you saying? And it's the same thing uh, when it comes to actually doing what? Text messages as well. So you get in contact with the seller or buyer. It's about tone. And you have to do a lot of things like mirroring. And you have to do a lot of things like controlling the actual conversation. And that's what it really boils down to. So before I go into the nitty gritty, I wanted to cover that um, because it's really important to understand that component because if you understand that component, you'll understand how to get appointments, cold calling, okay, and be able to have success getting deals. And I'll tie it into for anyone that's in the real estate space. I am in uh, Los Angeles here, Southern California. My office is actually in Temecula, but I still do a lot of deals in uh, Southern California. So I wanted to make this video. So let's go ahead and uh, um, go into kind of a uh, the number of calls, okay, number of uh, uh, calls that uh, one of my agents, team agents, acquisition guys is doing here, and you can see right on the screen here, okay, and you can see here, it's timestamp, so you can see uh, the actual uh, days on here, right, and it says, I don't know why it's not um, showing up here. And you can see right on here, right? 11 minutes, two minutes, okay? So this one right here, 11 minutes, I wish I can actually play it for you, but I I, uh, um, I don't have it set up correctly. But what I wanna tell you is this, is that if you're having a call with someone and you get like bad numbers, right? And this is what I'm using, Call Fire right now. So I recommend people to use Call Fire because they have a cloud component and they have other little cool little widgets and tools that you can use. Um, but when you use this and you get a wrong number, right? Like you're calling on Fezbo's, you're calling on Expires, whatever that you're calling on, if you get a wrong number, and someone says, oh no, I don't own that property, you got the wrong number, don't just hang up, okay? You have to actually pivot and turn and then pitch them on exactly how you can provide a service to them, okay? Now, when you do that, you can get on a $1.3 million actual appointment. So let me now show you exactly that by actually going to uh, my phone here, okay? So here's my actual phone, and let me show you uh, a text message, and let me actually pull this up, um, and here, here's one right now. I'll be, uh, all calls be, convert. oopsie, this is my wife here, uh, uh, check with the city for parking, yep, of course, um, I actually know this this one that let me pull up, okay, so. So let me go ahead and go through this, and I'll show you exactly what happened with this transaction. This is really, really just recently, right? So uh, I'm going to go through this, and I'm going to show you. So here it is. Here's the actual text conversation. It says, hey, uh, what's the price in mind did you have for your 112 property? Not sure. Tenants will be out end of June. I have yet to start the process establishing what it's worth. What do you think it's worth? And it says, um, when can I see the inside? Um, were you looking for all cash or top dollars? This is key, all cash or top dollars. He knows 
knows the seller is looking for. Come on, top dollars, right? But he's asking that question so he can continue the conversation uh, with the actual seller. So he says that, and then he says, um, that's the best option because I'll be able to generate you multiple offers by marketing it, which will help you net more money. Um, and then he texts me, basically sends another one coming. Okay, so again, this is a one point mil uh, one, uh, one point three million dollars. Okay, oopsie, I just plugged in the battery here. And uh, then from here, um, I said I gave him kind of like stay strong. And then the following day after, he goes on that listing appointment. And then guess what? He says I'm in Fullerton. We're supposed to meet uh, for lunch, but guess he has another surgery because he's a doctor. And it says thinking of just dropping off the listing package. What do you what, what do you think? Um, and then I have a running joke on here. And I said, yeah, fuck it, make him feel guilty. Sorry for my language here. Um, but the reason why I said that is because he canceled on him originally. And I was joking around, says, you got to make him feel guilty. And then we, then he told me the backstory that he's an actual doctor. Here's the actual picture of him and the doctor. He sends this kind of stuff. And then here, and I told him, believe. And it says, cool guy just left. And I gave him the, the actual uh, signature and says, did you get that? And he says, no, he's not ready. But we ve developed a good relationship, talked for two hours. Uh, what kind of doctor is he? General surgeon, orthopedic. He said, play for the Giants, like the football team, LOL. Yep, colonel in the military. He used to, wow, awesome man, Vietnam. Um, and I says, he's seen some real shit. Sorry, told him about his brother, right? Because he's in the military. Cool. And I said, did you hit him for asking for referrals? Yep, talked politics too. And then it says, yep. And I told him about, yep, yeah. uh, the loan article. The guy said, yes. Um, Okay, cool. And then, uh, which campaign was this from? He says, no clue. He said he got my voicemail, uh, shot me, uh, shoot me his phone. So I got it, and I come to find out it's one of the campaigns. So again, using Call Fire, that's what we did. Um, and then I say, you blanket enough people, good stuff happens. LOL. Thanks, sir. And then here's a one of a, one of an interesting one. Here's a closing. He's not just a listing agent or doing traditional deals. He also does investing as well. And he's in uh, Los Angeles, right? And here's a check copy of twenty thousand dollars that he. Made Made on a wholesale deal and I, I said nice which one is that and he says remember the one I got subdivided in CPT CPT stands for Compton I said ah but it says hey just let go since someone offered me money and I said congrats man he says next and I said in terms of velocity money this is probably more than the total rehab divided by the months which is true because it was only like a month ago and he only probably put in a couple of hours and he got uh, 20,000 from it and it says purchase price 300k SFR will sell 350k each 100k to divide rehab headache yeah man on to the next one now i wanted to show you this to let you know what's possible when you do the things that you're supposed to do if you are a new agent which is to what talk to people okay that's your goal you got to talk to people either on the phone or on social media whatever it is but get into a conversation with people so that way you can convert them into real conversations and then from their real appointments and then from there convert them into into what? Contract. So I know for a fact, my good friend Kevin, client of mine, he is going to get this uh, $1.3 million listing um, because he does that. He is a top producer, young guy, only been in the business about four years now, okay? Um, he's a top producer in his brokerage with over, uh, I want to say, 300 real estate agents, okay? And the reason why he is successful is not because of the new tools and widget that he, uh, he uses, okay? Does he use tools? Does he use widgets um, and things like that? 100%. But what he does is, guess what? talks to people and go on appointments. So that is the actual tip for you guys and gals today. And if you have any questions, all right, I'm going to do more of these types of video on this channel if you are interested. So leave me a comment below and then I can give you some more insights on exactly what it is. And if you are in the local area, uh, like Los Angeles or Southern California, or even California in general, let me know in the comment section as well. But this video was all about how to get listing appointments by using call fire, and then pivoting from what? Bad phone numbers that turns into, guess what? Real appointments, which you just saw right here on the phone. And then also I threw in some random stuff like uh, wholesaling, right? And if you're interested in that as well, let me know in the comment section uh, as well. So that's what I got for y'all. Um, this is Jeff Koga. Hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next episode that I create. Take care and bye-bye.